New Albion was an English colony in the area of modern day New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and Maryland in the United States. Colonization was unsuccessfully attempted by Sir Edmund Plowden, under the authority of a charter granted by Charles I in 1634. The charter was formally through the Kingdom of Ireland, which was in personal union with, and dominated by, the Kingdom of England. In that sense, New Albion was an Irish colony. Settlement was first attempted under the command of Plowden in 1642, but this ended in an attempted mutiny, after which Plowden managed New Albion from the colony and dominion of Virginia, selling rights to adventurers and speculators, until he returned to England in 1649. Despite further attempts to return to his colony, Plowden died a pauper. A large area of his claim was later given by the Duke of York to John Berkeley, 1st Baron Berkeley of Stratton and Sir George Carteret, and became New Jersey. Governor John Winthrop wrote in his journal that Sir Edmund Plowden returned to England for supply, intending to return and plant Delaware, if he could get sufficient strength to dispossess the Swedes. Soon after Plowden reached England there was published a description of the providence of New Albion. The Dutch commissioners in 1659 visited Secretary Philip Calvert in Maryland and argued that Lord Baltimore had no more right to the Delaware River than Sir Edmund Ploythen, in former time would make us believe he hath unto. Calvert replied that Ployton has no commission, and lay in jail in England on account of his debts, that he had solicited a patent for Novum Albium New Albion from the king, but it was refused him, and he thereupon applied to the Viceroy of Ireland, from whom he had obtained a patent, but that it was of no value. Topic. 1651 map of Virginia showing New Albion A Map of Virginia Discurred to Ye Hills", by John Farrar was published in 1651. Upon this map, New Albion is identified and a note appears along the Delaware River, which states this river Lord Plowden hath a patent of, and calls it New Albion, but the Swedes are planted on it and have a great trade in furs. Topic New Albion Settlers, agents named in Will of Sir Edmund Plowden The Will of Sir Edmund Plowden was recorded in England and includes a listing of agents that had contracted to settle ranging from 40 to 100 men each. The will was dated 29 July 1655 and identifies Mr. Plowden as I Sir Edmund Plowden of Wanstead, Co. Southampton, Knight, Lord Earl Palatine, Governor and Captain General of the Province of New Albion in America, and Peer of the Kingdom of Orland. In addition to naming family members, the will states that, after my deceased doe employ by consent of Sir William Mason of Gray's NKNT otherwise William Mason Esquire whom I make trustee for this my plantation, dot for the planting, fortifying, peopling and stocking of my province of New Albion, and to summon and enforce according to covenants in indentures and subscriptions all my undertakers to transplant thither and there to settle their number of men with such of my estate yearly can transplant, namely, Lord Mason, 50 Lord Sherard, descendant of Sir William Sherard, K.T., of Stapleford Park, Leicestershire, England, 100 Sir Thomas Danby, Sir Thomas Danby, K.T., of Thorpe Perrow, Yorkshire, England, 100 Captain Bats his array, Capt. John Bat of Oakwell Hall, Burstall, Yorkshire, England, 100 Mr. Eltonhead, a Master in Chancery, Edward Eltonhead, Master in the High Court of Chancery, 50 His eldest brother Eltonhead, William Eltonhead, 50 Mr. Bowles Late Clerk of the Crown, 40 Captain Claiborne in Virginia William Claiborne, 50 Viscount Muskery, 50 and many others in England Virginia and New England subscribed and by direction in my manuscript books since I resided six years, there. The will was proved the 27th of July 1659 in the PCC. Topic agents: John Bat, Thomas Danby, and William Claiborne on June 11, 1650, in England, granted a pass for Mr. Bat Capt. 
John Batt and Mr. Danby, Sir Thomas Danby, for themselves and seven score men, women, and children, to go to New Albion. Edmund Plowden granted to Sir Thomas Danby a lease of ten thousand acres, one hundred of which were on the northeast end or Cape of Long Island, and the rest in the vicinity of Watsesset, presumed to be near the present Salem, New Jersey, with full liberty and jurisdiction of a court baron and court leet, and other privileges for a town and manor of Danby Fort, conditioned on the settlement of one hundred resident planters in the province, not suffering any to live therein not believing or professing the three Christian creeds commonly called the Apostolical, Athanasian, and Nicene. The lease, the lease from the Earl Palatine to Sir T. Danby, was described in the papers of Charles Varlow. John Batt and Thomas Danby had entered into a joint adventure with one another on January 6, 1649, perhaps, 1650. On 21 September 1653, Philip Mallory signed an affidavit that he had received what he could of the estate of John Batt, deceased, in the colony of Virginia and, therefore to the utmost of my power discharge, release, acquit William Batt, son and heir of Gent. John Batt of all debts, dues, accounts or whatever that may be claimed by Sir Thomas Danby K.T., there is no record of John Batt receiving a patent in Maryland, Pennsylvania or New Jersey, however, two of his sons held a large grant for land in Virginia, on April 29, 1666, a grant for land in Charles City County, Virginia was issued to Thomas Batts and Henry Batts sons of Mr. John Batts Deck, for 5,878 acres, which land description references is the James River in Appomattox, the said land being due by and for the transportation of 118 persons into the colony. This land was later located in Prince George County, Virginia when it was formed in 1703. Surviving papers of the Danby family reveal that in September 1650, John Batt purchased Buckrow in the names of Christopher Danby and John Danby, sons of Sir Thomas Danby, who were sent with John Batt into Virginia. Sir Thomas Danby had sent over unto Virginia under the conduct of one Captain Batt his second and third sons, Mr. Christopher and Mr. John Danby, with purpose to come over and settle there himself. There is no evidence that Thomas Danby ever traveled to America. The Buckrow parcel purchased by John Batt for the Danby children was located in Elizabeth City County, Virginia and was adjacent a 700-acre land grant of 24 November 1647 of William Claiborne. William Claiborne had established a trading post at Kent Island, Maryland in 1631. John Batt, Captain Batts, his heirs, Thomas Danby and William Claiborne are all mentioned in the will of Edmund Plowden as having contracted to settle men to New Albion. The early records of Elizabeth City County, Virginia that would document the Buckrow purchase have been lost, destroyed, however, a lengthy suit of ejectment related to land title disputes refers to earlier records that provide context. Within the case as referenced, defendant moved that a copy of a deed produced by the PLT, made in behalf of Wilm Batt of Barlesand in the county of York, ESQ. And C. Martha Batt of Barkwell in the said county, spinster, sister of the said William Batt to Colo Chaz. Morrison call. Charles Morrison, might be read, within the Danby family papers is found a letter dated May 1695 from Francis Culpepper married first Samuel Stevens and second William Berkeley, whose sister Anne Culpepper had married Christopher Danby. The letter records that Francis Berkeley is writing to Sir Abstrupus Danby. To you about a plantation of your father's called Buck Row, Buck Row, which I am sure he never sold, but I have been informed since that Sir Thomas Danby implored Mr. William Batt. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Agents, Lord Sherard. The British Archives list of 21 February 1637 eighths grant from Sir Edmund Plowden to Sir William Sherard, K.T., of Stapleford. The summary states the grant is to "...agreed to settle 100 men to be resident planters in the province." For the granting of 10,000 acres near Delaware Bay and Mount Plowden. William Sherard died circa 1640 and his wife Abigail died in 1657. Her will was written in 1655 and states she was the relict of Lord William Sherard, Baron of Leitrim, in the Kingdom of Ireland. Topic. 
Topic: <laughs> Agents Edward and William Elton Head. Around 1640 William Eltonhead left Eltonhead Hall in Sutton for Maryland to take up the position of special envoy to Lord Baltimore. He was the proprietor of the Maryland colony whose interests William oversaw. Back home his brother Richard Eltonhead fought for the Earl of Derby and the monarch King Charles I in the First English Civil War. As a consequence of supporting the defeated Royalist Cavaliers, Richard lost most of his wealth and was no longer able to afford dowries for his five young daughters. William Eltonhead was executed by firing squad after losing an encounter with the Puritans of Providence. However Edward Eltonhead had much better fortune in the New World and was granted 10,000 acres in Maryland for the act of providing 50 men for the province of New Albion. On the 22nd of July 1653, William Eltonhead witnessed an indenture between Argyll Yeardley and Thomas Butteris. Topic. See also: English colonial empire, New Albion, Sir Francis Drake's claim of 1579, British colonization of the Americas. New Netherland New Sweden New England Colonial America